Hi, I'm Gordon Miller, and I'm the worship pastor here at Fellowship. Welcome to week two of FMC's Advent reading, O Come, Let Us Adore Him. We're going to be reading out of a passage in 2 Chronicles today that illustrates the power of worship. And it talks about King Jehoshaphat had just received words that three armies were converging on him, and the first thing that he chose to do was to worship. So let's read this passage together. Some men came and told Jehoshaphat, a vast army is coming against you from Edom, from the other side of the sea. Alarmed, Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord, and he proclaimed a fast for all Judah. The people of Judah came together to seek help from the Lord. Indeed, they came from every town in Judah to seek him. Then Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord in front of the new courtyard and said, O Lord, God of our fathers, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of all the nations. Power and might are in your hand, and no one can withstand you. O our God, did you not drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? They have lived in it and have built in it a sanctuary for your name, saying, If calamity comes upon us, whether the sword of judgment or the plague or famine, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and will cry out to you in our distress, and you will hear us and save us. But now, here are men from Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, whose territory you would not allow Israel to invade when they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and did not destroy them. See how they are repaying us for this by coming to us to drive us out of the possessions you gave us and the inheritance. O our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. All the men of Judah, with their wives and children and little ones, stood there before the Lord. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel as he stood in the assembly. He said, Listen, King Jehoshaphat, and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours but God's. Tomorrow, march down against them. They will be climbing up by the pass of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the gorge in the desert of Jeruel. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow, and the Lord will be with you. Jehoshaphat bowed with his face to the ground, and all the people of Judah and Jerusalem fell down and worshipped before the Lord. Then some Levites from the Kohathites and the Korathites stood up and praised the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. Early in the morning they left for the desert of Tekoa, As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets, and you will be successful. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out ahead of the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. Later in the passage, uh, just verses later, it it says that as they began to praise that God sent ambushes against their enemies and delivered them. So I'm curious, what gets your attention about this story? What sticks out to you? Um, And where do you feel like God's voice is calling you in this season? I know for me, when I read that story, I'm reminded that it's not my battle, but God's battle to fight. And so I take heart in that during difficult times to remember to praise first and to not worry about it. So that's our challenge for you today.